Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, let's get you ready for Wednesday as we head into midweek. Your temperature still at this hour 84, and that would not be as bad, except the humidity is making it feel like 92 still. We had uh, 100s earlier today, and I think we'll do that again for tomorrow. Next radar network beginning to see some changes here. I think we have a little more moisture to work with for tomorrow, and that'll bring in, particularly through the morning hours, some coastal showers. In fact, uh, for the next three hours, we're picking up on showers that have already developed here across the Atlantic. That, those are going to be pushing in, and that's going to continue with us through the early part of tomorrow and then the afternoon thunderstorms that develop. I think those will be mainly for the interior areas and across the west coast. So that's going to be our Wednesday. Another day of triple digit heat through the afternoon. Going to feel like July out there uh, compared to you know what we've gotten used to, which is some very dry conditions uh, from uh, last week. So the increasing moisture will yield a few storms, but the heavy rain potential, well, that's going to come with our relief for the weekend. Out ahead of it, that is, as the front begins to slide south, that'll squeeze in a lot of Tropical moisture here, and so we'll be in that pocket of uh, heavy thunderstorm potential and even some heavy rainfall for Thursday. Lingering moisture for Friday with a few showers and storms, and then the dry air comes in, and that's going to make it feel fantastic here by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday. There are those uh, morning coastal showers. Through the afternoon, you see our computer model not picking up on much here. Everything's going to basically head off towards the west. Rain coverage uh, will be on the lower side. And then comes Thursday already, Thursday morning, seeing plenty of rainfall beginning to move through the Keys. We'll get a break. That's going to set up for thunderstorms through the afternoon. So we'll get sunshine. It'll be hot. It'll be humid. And then we're going to start popping thunderstorms through the afternoon. Watch the clock here, 12, 2 o'clock. Numerous um, you know, cells developing, some which could be on the stronger side. So we'll have to watch those closely as we hit into a Thursday. And then again, some leftover moisture on Friday before we cool off on uh, for the weekend. Just in time, it's going to be a nice weekend here. There's Carl not going anywhere, as I've been saying here. The 11 p.m. advisory. Look at the, this track here. It's just it's going northwest and then it's going to dive down to the south here. Uh, we're being protected uh, by a lot of strong winds uh, to the north of this. So this is going nowhere but Mexico, and they're going to have to deal with some very heavy rainfall. It's the only thing we're watching really the next five days and beyond looking good. The Atlantic Basin uh, beginning to quiet down as it should this time of year. 89, 3 o'clock, but it'll feel like it's in the 100s. The rain coverage at about 20%. And then we'll bump that up to 70. So you know, most of us getting rain on Thursday. 40% coverage on Friday. And then the front comes in. It's going to cool us off. Uh, but more importantly, much drier with low humidity for both weekend days. We'll be right back.